Hey everyone, my name's Corinne. Welcome to this HIIT strength workout. If you have access to multiple dumbbells, amazing, or a set of dumbbells that you can squat with and press comfortably above your head. This is going to be a combination of weighted strength movements paired with body weighted cardio. This is a very dynamic session, so make sure you are already warm. Check the description for a warm up suggestion. If you've already done your warm up, we are all set to go. So, Let's get into it. Exercise one, squats. Weight on your shoulders, core is braced. Inhale, sit, exhale, stand. Your feet are slightly wider than your hips and your toes are turned out. Ultimately, it depends on your hips. So feel free to experiment with the placement of your feet to work for your body. You might need to go a little bit wider or perhaps a little bit more narrow. Three key points to think about. One, keep your chest lifted. Two, do not allow your knees to collapse in. And three, squeeze your glutes at the top. Exercise two, squat jump with heel clap. Lose your dumbbells. Just like the squat, you bend your knees, but as you come up, your feet leave the floor and you squeeze your legs together. Contact. Exercise three, push press. Place your dumbbells onto your shoulders. Tiny micro bend at your knees. As you extend your knees, squeeze your glutes and punch the dumbbells up towards the ceiling. This is a power move which starts from the lower body. The arms finish off at the end. Pull your abs in tight like you're wearing a corset. This is really important to support your lower back. Make sure you're breathing in on the way down and a strong exhale on the way up. Things are heating up. Next up, we have burpees, the ultimate bodyweight exercise to elevate your heart rate. Hands to the floor, shoot your legs back and lower your chest down to the ground as quickly as you can. As you come up, you can stand or jump at the top. And celebrate that that's over for now. So next up, we have reverse lunges with bicep curls. Now, this is one of my favorite movement combos. It's the fusion of upper and lower together. Woof, mwah, chef's kiss. I really hope you're just as excited as I am. <laughs> just make sure your hips face forwards. As you lunge, you're sending your back knee down towards the floor. Your feet are about hip width, maybe slightly wider. Play around with that. Be mindful of how you're using those dumbbells. So you're controlling the weights up and down. Mm -hmm. 
Next up, we have skaters. Time to go back to body weight and time to move from side to side. This is where we unleash our inner athlete, jumping from one foot to the other, taking up as much space as possible. Now remember, technique first. Start slowly, build your confidence, and once you feel ready for it, add some speed, add some power. The final move before we repeat, mountain climbers. Hands underneath your shoulders, you're in a plank position, start to squeeze your knees in towards your chest. You can do this slowly or quickly. On this round, I'm slowing things down because I'm really focusing on strength and control. And then on the second round, I'm gonna add some speed. If you want to speed things up here, then of course you can. Just like that, we have completed the first round. So one more round to go. We're gonna start with the squats again. Everything stays the same. Maybe you move a bit quicker, possibly lift heavier. Let's try our best to level up. Exercise two, squat jump with heel clap. Now on this round, I really want you to think about using your inner thighs to squeeze your legs together. Right, get your head in the game and remember, you will not do this move again. Grab those dumbbells, we are going back to the push press. Remember, the movement starts from the lower body, the arms finish off. Invisible waist belt on. Don't forget to squeeze your glutes and keep your biceps by your ears as you push the dumbbells overhead. On a side note, I hope your legs are feeling okay after those squats and squat jumps, sorry.
right, you know what time it is. Yes, time for the burpees. How quickly can you get your chest on the floor and how quickly can you come up from the ground? Speed, power, determination. Let's go get it. Taking that oxygen, refuel, re-energize. Just know one of the hardest exercises of the workout is complete. Next up, you need those dumbbells, lunges with bicep curls. Are you ready for those skaters? On this round, perhaps see if you can travel a little bit further. Maybe you jump a little bit higher or send your knee down a little bit lower. Ready, set, go. Here it is, the final exercise. And guess what? I am adding on a bonus 15 seconds. One minute of mountain climbers. Meet me in a plank and let's start to move slowly, squeezing the knees one at a time in towards the chest. When I say go, we'll pick up the pace, we'll finish with that intensity, we'll finish with that fire. Final 30 seconds, let's add that pace, let's add that speed. are done big well done celebrate you should feel so proud of yourself right now that was not easy especially if you were really going for it giving it that 10 out of 10 energy right let's just do a very quick stretch come onto your hands and knees and then slowly start to melt your hips towards the mat shine your chest forwards then you untuck your toes into a down dog, start to pad through your feet, pushing the heels towards the mat. Start to walk your hands towards your legs 
and then interlace your fingers behind your back, stretching out your chest and your shoulders. Release your arms, bend your knees and start to roll up, lower back, middle back and upper back. Big well done for getting through that. That was super tough, but you are tougher. Check out on screen for any workout suggestions and I'll see you again soon.